Whitley County residents have a long history of taking care of one another when needs arise. In 1991, a group of community leaders decided to channel that spirit of giving and generosity. Together with the help of Lilly Endowment's gift program, they created a shared vision for local philanthropy that became the Whitley County Community Foundation. In the two decades that have unfolded since the foundation's creation, the commitment to give back to our community is stronger than ever. Without question, the success of our community foundation can be traced to its earliest roots. John Whiteleather, the organization's founding board president, and Kay Fleck were first to roll up their sleeves and set to the work of bringing organized philanthropy to Whitley County. Then I communicated with John Whiteleather and I said, well, you know, if you'll, if you'll get the paperwork done, like the 501c3, which you have to incorporate, create a not-for-profit corporation, and then you have to get a tax-exempt status, I said, I'll go to these meetings and we'll see if we can get this going. But at any rate, that all got taken care of and then John and I actually started recruiting board members, thinking of people that we thought from all three Whitley County communities would make good board members. They were soon joined by a caring and knowledgeable group of local residents with diverse backgrounds who dedicated their time and talents to developing our foundation. In the beginning, pretty much what we had to what we had as collateral or, or assets was um, the, the knowledge that our board members had and, the, um, and their, their credibility and their good name. That was, that was about the major asset that we had in the beginning. And I think we, we used those things to help people understand what a community foundation was, give it credibility, and then build a basis for what the foundation has become. These local leaders responded to the Giving Indiana Funds for Tomorrow program launched by the Indianapolis-based Lilly Endowment. Matching funds were offered to Indiana communities interested in establishing community foundations and building local endowments. With vital technical assistance and generous financial support from Lilly Endowment, local leaders set out to create awareness of what endowed philanthropy could mean for our small rural community. In the early years, we were, we were doing something that communities didn't have. We were, we were trying to start something that communities didn't have. And so there was a lot, of, um, a lot of awareness building that had to go on. And there was a lot of, um, I guess, just like education and, and public relations about what the idea of a community foundation was. So um, an awful lot of that building of momentum and, um, and understanding what we were going to be about. One of the first major contributions made to the foundation was a generous testamentary gift left by George Franklin Schultz in his will. Mr. Schultz had hopes that someday Willie County would have its own YMCA and wanted his gift to help locally when the time came. He trusted a very young community foundation to manage his gift and remember his intent. In the September 92 board minutes, it shows the foundation had started dialogue with a group then known as the Whitley County Enclosed Swimming Pool Committee, led by a determined Jenny Thompson. And that was a, it was a big deal for us at that time. We didn't have very much, uh, very large endowment, so to make a uh, a major grant and make it over a period of years was a big a big step. There was enough confidence in the community foundation, enough confidence in uh, I think the board at that time to raise funds. Uh, they made a, a larger pledge to the uh, to the YMCA and, and now at this point you're really impacting a phenomenal number of people in, in Whitley County. I think at one point we were looking at, at impacting overall by the time you look at all the different relationships uh, approaching a third of the people in, in Whitley County. Another early grant was awarded to Cherubusco Child Care Center. It was the first of several grants to the nonprofit child care facility that in its beginning faced significant challenges as they tried to balance quality care while struggling to gain a measure of financial stability. It's been said that you can predict the health of the community by the way it provides for its youngest members. Today, Cherubusco has a healthy glow thanks in large part to the care offered by the Cherubusco Child Care Center and the Community Foundation takes pride in its supporting roles in those early years. As the Whitley County Community Foundation began to find stable footing of its own, two unique programs were created that continue to have strong roots within the foundation today. Thanks to a generous grant, 15 years of ongoing support from our friends at DECO Foundation, the Community Foundation has the pleasure of overseeing the HANDS Foundation HANDS is an acronym for helping achieve new directions through students, and that's just what this group does. Selected by school administrators based on their leadership capabilities, five students from each of the county's three school system is named to HANDS. 
The young leaders meet monthly to discuss community needs, review grant requests, and allocate funding to projects with an educational focus. In addition to making grants, the group offers an annual program entitled The Littlest Philanthropist, in which members set out to teach third grade students what philanthropy is all about. Following their visit, each third grade class is awarded a $100 grant and challenged to use it to fund a philanthropic project of their own. Since its inception, over 75 students have participated in the hands and the Youth Foundation has granted approximately $240,000 to enhance education in Whitley County. As any of the hands students can tell you, philanthropy is about sharing time, talent, or treasure, something that Whitley County residents do all the time in quiet ways. Local resident Bob Cornmesser had the idea to honor these unsung givers and turn to Clark Waterfall, a board member of the Community Foundation, to give his idea wings. The Heart of Gold Award was created to put the spotlight on hundreds of generous citizens who make life a little better for their neighbors through acts of kindness. Any Whitley County resident can nominate another, regardless of age. Each nominee is recognized at an annual reception and awarded a Heart of Gold medallion. Three overall winners are chosen, and each is given the opportunity to direct a grant to the Whitley County Charitable Organization of their choice. From church organists to organ donors, no act of kindness is too big or too small to be acknowledged on the special night of thank yous. Yeah, I, know. I just think that it's neat how each year they find people, and there are people all over that just do so much work, volunteer work to help in our community. And I think, you know, if those people were not there, a lot of things wouldn't get done. As the foundation continued to grow in size, impact, and awareness, so did its staff. The generous office space downtown, donated as a first home to the foundation by Eslick, Gervin, and Lefevre Insurance, was outgrown, and the organization began looking for a new location. Fortunately, there was a beautiful, historic, 140-year-old building in need of new owners and a good dose of TLC. In January of 2000, the Whitley County Consolidated School Board Corporation gifted the former Ralph Bailey Administration building to the foundation. A timely grant from Lilly Endowment allowed the foundation to undertake an extensive renovation of the building in the months that followed. Board member John Lefevre guided the process, which included a new roof, handicapped accessible restrooms, updated heating and electrical systems, a refurbished porch that reflected the home's original structure, and 36 new windows. I think they've just made it into such a beautiful place. And it's substantial, it's well taken care of, and I think we're just walking into it makes you feel secure. At least it makes me feel secure. In securing the future for this historic building, the foundation sent a message that like the red brick house at 400 North Whitley Street, it too was now firmly rooted in the community. In 2000, the foundation's board of directors charged the staff with creating a program to enhance the leadership skills of local residents. The first class of LWC gathered in 2001. Since that time, almost 200 local residents have participated in the program, which serves to strengthen servant leadership skills and focus upon needs specific to our county. While individual skills are honed in topics such as group discussion and visioning, local nonprofit organizations also benefit in having a source from which to draw energetic new board members and volunteers. A few years later, things took a turn for the pink at the Community Foundation with the creation of the Giving Circle for Women's Health, an endowment fund that proved philanthropists don't always wear pinstripe suits. Since its inception in 2003, hundreds of gifts have been made to the fund, which provides a free mammogram program for Whitley County women unable to afford the vital test. You know, there are a lot of women in this community who, for various reasons, can't afford to have that screening done. And when that group of women came together to form the Giving Circle um, and they identified that need, it didn't take much work to, <clears throat> to think through what we needed to put in place to make it happen. In addition, programs such as Girls Rock, a self-esteem building workshop for local girls, and Look Good, Feel Better, a program to support women undergoing treatment for cancer, have been offered to the community by the Women's Giving Circle. In recent years, local high school sports teams have become involved in raising awareness of the Giving Circle by wearing pink during games and auctioning their jerseys following the events, with proceeds benefiting the Giving Circle. Hundreds of local Whitley County students have found financial assistance through the Foundation as they work to reach their educational goals. In 1997, Lilly Endowment selected the Foundation to administer its annual Lilly Community Scholars Award. Since its inception, 30 students from our community 
have been given the opportunity to attend an Indiana college or university of their choice tuition free. Wondering what it would cost to send 30 students to the Indiana college of their choice? Almost $3 million have been awarded to Willie County students through the program over the past 14 years. As we celebrate an important anniversary, the question to ponder is not what the next 20 years will bring to the Community Foundation, but what the Community Foundation will be able to do for the people of Whitley County over the next two decades. We will continue to partner with generous donors who want to see their gifts managed well, utilized with prudence, and continued forever. We will continue to make grants to worthy community organizations that strive to make Whitley County a great place to call home. And we will continue to be the caretakers of that long-held tradition of taking care of one another when the needs arise. That's what philanthropy is all about.